So what's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome yourselves back to another Zombies video on the channel, back with another Black Ops 4 video, and today I want to talk about a small easter egg that seems to be apparent in Voyage of Despair, which also connects to one of our previous maps that we've had in Zombies. Now this is interesting because we've been told that Black Ops 4 Zombies is a whole new storyline, it is separate to the original Ether story with our premise, transit crew and all the other characters from the older games, yet there is something in Voyage of Despair which seems to link into shadows of evil as always if you enjoyed the video you guys know what to do smash that like button it's always very much appreciated could we shoot for 1k likes but if not it's up to you guys it doesn't matter make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest zombies content on the channel leave your thoughts in the comment section below and let's get into it here we go. So, as I said, in the Voyage of Despair trailer, if you want to go and watch it in full for yourself, I will link it down in the description, but it's around the 1 minute 46 mark, you will see there is a safe on the ship. Now, we know that this map is set in the Titanic, and what our new characters are here to do is collect an artifact from a safe that is locked in the cargo room. But what's interesting, and I pointed this out on my breakdown, but I didn't really go into any detail as I didn't think it meant much, but after doing some more research, I thought actually this is interesting enough to make a video on. So there is a safe that our characters get the artifact from, the artifact that creates these zombies in our new storyline, but you will notice there is actually some writing on the safe. Now it actually says Harsha and Sons. And like I said, I pointed this out in the trailer, but I totally went past it because I just thought maybe this is the name of the people who make the safe, or it's just some irrelevant writing on there. It doesn't really mean much. But after making that video, I went back and just simply typed in Call of Duty Zombies Harsha. And actually we have seen this in game before. In Shadows of Evil, you can see it a couple of times. First off, there is a building that's called Harsha's Hotel. You can see it in the district here. It's something I've never really noticed before, but it is there. And we know that there are loads of buildings in Shadows of Evil that are named. We have like Sal's Laundry and other places like that. But besides from Harsha's Hotel, there's also Harsha Cigarettes. Again, you can see them here. It says Harsha Turkish Blend Cigarettes. And you can see them advertised in a couple of places in Morgan city so we have in fact seen this name harsher in zombies before specifically in shadows of evil now as i was saying these aren't the only named things that were in this map there was actually loads of different ones there was chang's laundry cj's printing zach's hats there was also a new may or may not have noticed this but interestingly there is blundell's bakery or blundell's baked goods there's zandy's smoking lounge and a load of other ones as well and if you haven't caught on yet actually what these are, are the names of Treyarch and Please. It seems like all of the buildings, if not most of them, throughout Morg City are named after people who worked on the game. Chang's Laundry is named after Yo Chang, who was the senior character artist for Black Ops 3 Zombies. CJ's Printing was named after CJ Coney, who was the producer. Zach's Hats was Zach Gonzalez, the associate producer for BO3 Zombies. Blundell's Baked Goods was obviously Jason Blundell, the director of Zombies. And as I said, there's a load of other ones. Zandy's Smoke Lounge is Ali Zandy, who was the level designer. Nesbit's Cafe is Justin Nesbit, who was a another level designer and there's also a load of other names that we don't know who they are there's zang zings i don't know who that is there's jade coast trading again i don't know if that's another employee we don't have a record for that there's hippo's cafe jj's newsstand and a load of other ones as well but as i said there's also harsher's hotel and harsher cigarettes and ken Harsha is the art director for COD Zombies. And if you actually just type in Ken Harsha Treyarch on Google, you can bring up his LinkedIn and you just get information about Treyarch. So Ken Harsha is the art director of COD Zombies, which can explain why we see it on the safe in Voyage of Despair. Harsha and Sons is named after Ken Harsha, the art director. I mean, in Shadows of Evil, Harsha was to do with cigarettes. In Voyage of Despair, clearly you can see that Harsha and Sons is to do with making safes, I guess. But I really don't think it would mean any more than that. I think it's just the art director wanting to put his name 
in the game somehow. However, there was always, we can't say that 100%, so we can't rule out the other possibilities. I mean, there could be another meaning behind it, although harsher the word itself doesn't really mean too much. Harsher was an Indian emperor who ruled North India from 606 to 647 CE, although I don't think he has anything to do with this. Like I said, this could be another Easter egg linking to something else, but really, I just think this is the art director wanting to put his name in the game in Voyage of Despair and instead of having his name to do with a cigarette brand this time it's to do with a brand that makes safes. So that's just my guess. But you could also say well this means that there is a link then to Shadows of Evil. There must be a link some way between these two maps and we've been told by Treyarch that Black Ops 4 Zombies is going to have a whole new storyline. It's set in a new world, it's a new universe, a new story totally separate to the Ether story that we've played before in BO3, BO2, BO1 and World at War. BO4 is a brand new start which should mean then that it shouldn't have any links to our previous storyline. I mean, we know in our new story, 115 isn't what creates the zombies. In fact, it looks like Element 115 doesn't even exist in our new story. And in fact, it's this new artifact that's inside of the safe that now creates the zombies. We saw that within the trailer. We're also playing as a new set of characters. We have a new enemy, which is the Ancient Order. So that probably also means that Primus, Richtof and Takio, Dempsey, Nikolai, Dr. Monty, 115, Samantha, Maxis, Group 935, all of those things don't exist in our new Zombies timeline. They're not there. It's almost like this artifact has replaced Element 115, the Ancient Order has replaced Group 935, Scarlet, Bruno, Diego and Shaw, who are our new characters, have replaced Richtof and Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey. So if it's a whole new story, then surely there can't be a link in any way to Shadows of Evil. Although for me, that is pretty hard to believe that there won't be a link to the old zombie storyline in some way. Maybe not now, but later on down the line, Treyarch could decide to somehow intertwine these two stories and link them up. But for now, it seems they have nothing to do with each other. However, this is very interesting, but that's not the only connection we can make from Shadows of Evil to Black Ops 4 zombies. And in fact, there is something else. Now, credit to Glitching Queen, I believe she is the one who found this. But if you go over to the other new zombies map, IX, in that trailer, and this is very difficult to see, but you will notice that at the start, Diego is wearing a ring. You can see him picking up this bowl with this liquid in that seems to teleport us through space and time. Well, in one of the shots, you can see his hand on his finger is a ring, which you may be thinking, okay, Eli, that's not too interesting. But actually, if you go back to Shadows of Evil again and take a look at Nero, this exact same ring is also on his finger. This is the same ring that Nero wore in Shadows of Evil. Now, he also had many other rings on his fingers, whereas Diego only has one, but these two characters are wearing the same ring. Why is this? Now, again, this could be down to a couple of reasons. The first one could be is that there is a connection. Somehow, Nero's ring ended up on Diego's fingers. Maybe they got lost somewhere down in the line. Diego found them, picked it up, and he's now wearing it. We do know that the Shadows of Evil crew did die. The Apothecans destroyed their universe, which means, well, the Shadows of Evil characters, including Nero, got destroyed, which should mean that also everything else in it got destroyed as well, probably in including this ring but then again there are also multiple thousands of universes in our original timeline that Nero could have existed in. In one of them somehow Nero's ring could have ended up on the finger of Diego. I have no idea how. Or you could just simply say that this is Treyarch reusing old models. Instead of creating all new jewellery, they've just used one of the old models from Black Ops 3 and reused it on the finger of Diego. Just to add some detail to him, give him some rings on his finger, just instead of making new ones, which would take time, why not just use old ones? That could also be one of the possibilities. To me, that seems the most likely. As I said, this is a whole new storyline. Supposedly, it doesn't connect to the old one, not yet at least anyway. So you would think that things like this and Harsha have no connection, but with Treyarch, as always, we can never be sure. Get it? Sure, because he's a character in our new zombie story. No, 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 no. 
Okay, I'll sorry. Anyway, guys, there we go. That is all I have for you for today's video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. As always, if you have, you guys know what to do. Drop a like rating. Could we shoot for 1K likes on this video? If not, it doesn't matter. But you guys are absolutely the best. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about this? Do you think it means something? Do you think that it means nothing? It's up to you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest zombies videos on the channel. And also, don't forget to click that bell notification icon as well to stay up to date with the latest zombies content. Anyway, guys, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.